The city of Chicago is moving migrants out of park district facilities with a plan to resume activities and services at those locations. WGN's Angelica Sanchez is live in Rogers Park tonight with the latest. Angelica. That's right. Well, the city says so far today, only two of five shelter facilities have been shut down for shelter use. Now, people that I spoke with here in Rogers Park tell me that there was never an issue with this facility being used to house migrants, but other communities in the city say it's time these facilities return to their neighborhood. Navigating the twists and turns of a playground comes naturally to children. Katie Reed tells us her kids often played here with migrant children staying at the Leon Park Beach facility. People would come in big groups with lots of different kids. All the kids that didn't speak the same language used to play together here when they were using this building. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's kind of what Rogers Park is. This is one of five Chicago Park District locations going back to the community after being used to house migrants for several months. The city made the announcement last Monday. I would love to see it return to the neighborhood, but um, it was also good to see it used to add new neighbors. In an email to WGN, the city of Chicago says migrants staying at Leon Beach Park and Piotrowski Park have been taken to other nearby shelters. Other location exits will happen in the next few weeks. As of Saturday afternoon, the city reports there are 115 family members staying at Brands Park, 172 family members staying at Broadway Armory, and 256 single men and women staying at Gage Park. Hopefully we get it back. Yeah. In full strength or even better. Can't wait. Can't wait. Communities like Gage Park are anxious to see their field house return to neighborhood use. Safety issues have been reported around the field house toward Alderman Ray Lopez. I don't have nothing against the migrants, but you know, you have to be respectful of the, the field and what we what we're trying to do as a league. Ivory Williams says he coaches youth baseball. He's glad children in the community will be able to play again. I can't even explain the excitement in my heart now that we can actually go back to our field house and enjoy baseball. While the city continues to navigate the twists and turns of the migrant crisis, Reed's glad her neighborhood did its part. This is just a, a, a spare piece of real estate for the neighborhood, so it's always good to see it put to good use. And the city says as of now, there are no set move out dates for those remaining uh, park facilities. Reporting live in Rogers Park, Angelica Sanchez, WGN News. Thank you, Angelica.